All right, everybody, welcome back. We are on level eight, the challenge level. And this one's actually gonna be super fun. You're gonna make an entire scene. Um, so uh, you definitely have to do A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, F and G are optional, but let's get started with A. So I'm gonna do A through E with you guys, and then you're gonna do F and G on your own if you wanna do them. So let's get started with A. Here we go. All right, more fish. So before you learn the counter pattern, you learn to set sprite properties such as rotation to random values to animate them. By setting the rotation of the fish to a random number, you can make them appear to wiggle slightly, just like this. Uh, this will make their movements animation more lifelike. So do this, for each fish, use the counter pattern to move it across the screen similar to the example. For each fish, randomly set its rotation inside the draw loop. Hint, to make it look as realistic as possible, choose a small range of negative and positive values. So running right now, all right, that's what we have. Okay, so let's get started with this. Um, we're gonna start with getting the other fish to at least move. So green fish, green fish dot, dot x minus one, because the green fish moves slowest. And then the blue fish, so glue fish, glue fish dot x minus three. All right, so reset run. Excellent, okay. Um, but we're not done yet because we gotta make them wiggle, right? So rotation, uh, orange fish, uh, orange fish dot x. Mm, actually random. Number negative five, five. Let's see if that works. Reset, run. Hey, there it goes. We can even make it less. We can make it like three. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Rotation, oops. Uh, rotation, so green fish, green fish dot X. Nope, I did it again. Random number. Negative three, three. Because we just want little wiggles. We don't want big wiggles. Um, all right. So blue fish, uh, random number, negative three, three. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make them slightly different for each fish. So the fastest fish is gonna be three. The medium fish is gonna be two. And then the slow fish, it's gonna be one because he's lazy, he's strolling along. So reset and run. Yeah, perfect. All right, so A is done. Let's move on to B. I'm gonna add some bubbles. All right, so run, we got our fishies. Um, so we gotta add some bubbles. All right, let's read the directions first. So you can also use the counter pattern to animate shapes, such as rectangles and ellipses. Since this is an underwater scene, let's try to create a bubble that floats to the top of the screen using an ellipse shape. If we use the counter pattern to update the Y value of the ellipse, we can make it seem like it's floating to the top of the screen. So create at least one new variable to keep track of the changing Y position of the bubbles. All right, so we're gonna say bubble.y. All right, it's not available yet because we haven't made it. Um, set the value to 400. Okay, so let's let's do this step by step by step. Um, we need a ellipse. All right, and the ellipse is gonna start at 400. And it's gonna be 50 by 50. Let's see, actually, so that I can at least see what it looks like. Oh, gotta put it in here. Okay, that's a little too big, so we're gonna make them, let's make them 20 by 20. Oh, that's better, okay. So we have an ellipse, and then we're gonna make, uh, it's not gonna have a fill to it, and we're gonna make the stroke on it 
white and we're going to make the stroke weight three. Okay. There we go. That works. So let's set this down to 400. And then we have, let's see. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember how to make it go up. I've done this before. We did this in class. Just gotta remember. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think this is right, but we're gonna try it. Ellipse. Oh, bubble. Okay, that's right. All right. Um. Okay. So. We got to set a variable for bubble 400. All right, so bubble. All right. Yep, okay. All right, all right. Now we're cooking. All right. Um, so bubble, bubble minus five. Ooh, is that right? I don't know. Let's find out. Reset, run. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, I definitely put that in the wrong spot. So that is going to be 100. That's going to be bubble. All right. Reset, run. There we go. So that's super fast. Let's make it one. Oh, there we go. Let's make it two. Perfect. All right. But because I'm an overachiever, we're going to make three bubbles because that's what I saw. So, eh. All right. Um, however, so we're going to make one at, come on. So that one's going to be 200. Um, and that's going to be 300. All right. Excellent. However, the bubbles appear at different times. So if this is 400, then I think I want this one to be, okay now. I want this to be bubble, oops, bubble plus 25. And this is gonna be bubble plus 50. So what this is gonna mean is that bubble will start at 400. Bubble number two will start at 400 plus 25. And then bubble plus 50 will start over here. So reset and run. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I may even make this a 70. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there we go. All right. We're going to click on finish. Let's move on to the next level. So we're going to add a shark. Okay say less. All right. So let's make sure we have a shark. We don't. So let's add a shark. Shark. Oh, wow. Okay. I see shark. So let's go in here. We're going to set our shark up. So shark. And then shark. Shark's too big, so we're going to set the scale. So shark is going to be 0 0.5. Let's see how that looks. That'll work. All right, and then where is the shark in the picture? Oh, at the very bottom. Okay, so we're going to set the shark to 350. No, we're not. We're going to set to 0 and 350. Um, actually, we're going to set the shark to negative 200. So reset run. Excellent. Why did I set it to negative 200? Because I wanted it off the screen. So it's over here somewhere. All right. And so we're going to say shark dot X. So shark dot X is shark dot X plus uh, five. 
Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Beautiful. So we have our fishies, we have our bubbles, we have our shark. All right, and our shark is not doing much wiggling, so we're just gonna let it stay there. All right, and actually, I'm gonna take this back just a little bit. Let's set this to 100. Perfect. All right, so finish. Let's go on to the next level. All right, um, this is, okay, we got two more that I'm gonna do with you, so add a falling star. All right, so even more sea creatures. You should now have fish that wiggle as they swim right to the left across the screen, bubbles that float up to the top of the screen, and a shark swimming left to right. Now let's add a falling starfish right there. So do this. Find a starfish animation you like and add the new sprite to the scene. Resize the starfish if needed. Give the starfish a random starting location so that it falls from a different location each time you, your program is run. Use the counter pattern to make the starfish slowly fall from the top of the screen. Use the counter pattern to make the starfish spin while it's falling. Oh my God, I love that. All right, so animation. Let's find ourselves a starfish. <laughs> uh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I know that they use this one. I want to use this one because this one's just cute. He's smiling. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's say sprite so starfish um and we're going to start this one at random number zero fifty three fifty and then we're going to start this one at negative ten all right starfish Okay. All right. And then we need to make it fall. So that's where we're going to do Y. So starfish, starfish dot Y uh, plus five. Because that'll move from top to bottom. Yes. Yes. All right. And then we also want it to rotate. So starfish. That rotation is starfish rotation plus five. Um, I don't know. We'll figure this out. So run. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. It reminds me of a uh, suicide squad. Ah. Okay. Um, let's, we definitely need to resize the starfish. So let's do that. We're going to resize it to I don't know, 0.10. Let's make it tiny. So reset and run. Up. Up. Mm. Sp oh, Sprite. Okay. I was like, what's going on? Okay. Now reset and run. There we go. All right. And each time you do it, it's going to come from a different spot, which is awesome. Fabulous. All right, let's finish. Move on to the next one. Um, so the next one is interesting. So this purple fish right here, we're going to make it bigger until it looks like it's eating you. All right, so E. All right. Run. All right, so this is everything we've done so far. Um, all right, it says, incoming fish, you have a pretty great underwater scene so far. Absolutely, we do. So let's add one last fish, but this time we want to make the fish appear as if it is swimming right at you. So just like that, uh, find a fish similar to the purple one in the image to the right that is facing forward and add it to the scene. Set the purple fish's starting size to zero since it will be growing. Use the counter pattern to make the purple fish appear to be swimming towards you. Bonus challenge, feel free to get creative and add more moving sea creatures to the scene. Perhaps a jellyfish moving diagonally or a fish swimming backwards while doing flips. How do I make the fish look like it's swimming toward me? To make the fish look like it's swimming at you and getting closer to you, you will need to make the fish get bigger. Use the counter pattern with the scale property. All right, let's go find a fish. Okay. We want a fish. Up oh, there we go. Found you. Oh, those starfish still crack me up. All right, so we need to... 
set up our, um, what do we call it? Purple fish, all right? And it's right there in the middle, so good. Okay, so purple fish. Okay. And then we need to set the scale to purple fish scale zero. All right, and then as we go through here, we're gonna set the scale to purple fish scale plus one. All right, what just happened here? Mm. Oh, we don't want, <laughs> okay, hold on. Not, not plus one, we'll pull us. 0 0.1. Okay, that was a little too fast, so we're going to do 0 0.01. There we go. All right, good. So with that, we're going to click on finish. But wait, before we click on finish, I want to show you something, guys. So we started with nothing. And now we've got 43 lines of code. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different um, sprites, all doing different things at different times. Like you should be very, very proud of yourself if you've made it this far uh, because you've made an entire animated scene, which is fantastic. All right. So with that, we're going to click on finish. Um, the other act, two activities, like I said, these are up to you to do. So dance scene, create an animated scene of your favorite dance moves, uh, animated school activity, create an animated scene of your favorite class or school activity. So maybe you'll do that latest dance on TikTok. Maybe you'll do, um, your favorite class, like, you know, a volleyball bouncing, um, around in a, in a gym or, uh, <sighs> I don't know, um, like a stove with a pot of something boiling with like steam rising up uh, if you like family consumer science. So there's a bunch of different options here, but just have fun with it and just feel really, really proud of yourself. You did a great job if you have made it this far. All right. So good luck. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. See you next lesson.